It's captivating video, a tide so high that it's creeping onto the walkways of San Francisco's Embarcadero. The sights are off thanks to king tides. They're about one to two feet higher than your average high tide. And they're happening across California right now. Experts with the California King Tides Project say that so far, the King Tides seen on Thursday and Friday have been moderate. But they're giving a glimpse of sea level rise, a larger problem that can be traced back to burning fossil fuels. Jeremy Smith is a coastal engineer with the California Coastal Commission. He says that the first part in determining how to deal with climate change is working to understand how it impacts communities. Where flooding might occur and where how it's going to impact our sort of infrastructure systems. Smith says sea level rise could impact those infrastructure systems systems and in turn impact communities that aren't even by the water. Heavy rainfalls, that rain needs to get to the low spot. And so when that rain is draining on our streets and through our storm drains, a lot of, a lot of times those storm drains outfall into the bay or into the ocean. And so if you have a higher sea level, that can sort of slow down how fast the storm drains can carry that water. Now experts are using the King Tides to help better determine sea level rise. Smith says pictures sent to the California King Tides project by the public are being used to help government officials and climate change experts do that. We're able to sort of use these photos and we can see how high the water was at a certain time and we can use that to sort of improve our models of flooding. And that can be really useful for trying to figure out how climate change is going to impact our communities. The California King Tides Project has so far received around 200 photo submissions from Thursday and Friday's King Tides. With the next King Tide event expected February 9th, they're hoping for people to take and submit even more. Keep a good distance, especially when there's waves involved. You want to be make sure that you're sufficiently far back. That can even help with photos sometimes, right? Like you want to get a good a good range of stuff in those photos. If you have photos to submit, you can do that at the Coastal Commission website. Zach Fuentes, ABC7 News.